So, do you ever look around a room and feel like something has changed, but you can't quite put your finger on what it is? Hey gang, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me in Stormiest Spellbound and Spellbound Caves. So, in case you didn't guess, we are not in the Rumbling Cavern anymore. We are rather in the top of Grove of the Dark Willows. I came here off camera to get this wool because, well, obviously if you're playing a super hostile map, getting the wool is something you need to think about. I did it off camera because I am still lagging. My computer hates this area. I may need to allocate more RAM to Minecraft. And uh, if, that doesn't seem super simple to do, but that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. But anyway, so I wanted to get this yellow wool. And uh, I'll show you where it is. We'll swim down together. Let's see. We are coming down this column of water, also known as a waterfall. But column of water sounds so much more scientific. Waterfall is kind of a... a uh, image evoking word, isn't it? Anyway, we're here by the sign that says diving helmet, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there. Um, and in his dev convex says he actually put this sign here because people weren't making the connection between the diving helmet and the waterfall going up. They all wanted to go down. Uh, and I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do if I was a beta tester in this situation. I do know that when I am beta testing now, I try to be very careful not to miss anything obvious that the uh, map maker can then put in a sign and go, ha ha, you know, my beta testers missed this. So, okay guys, I'm going to get back to Rumbling Cavern and I will meet you back there. Hang tight and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. So, I dropped the wool off here. And then very logically walked over to my base and got some more arrows for us. And the wool stays here. It occurred to me as I was on my walk over that it would have been just as easy to bring the wool with me rather than drop it off at the intersection. But, you know, logic and practicality and efficiency. Yeah. I'm playing a game. I don't need any of it. Whoa. Okay, so we're after this box right there. Let's let's focus on the task at hand, okay? Let's focus on the task at hand, which would be getting the box. Oh, bugger! Ah, run! <clears throat> we yump. See a gravel and monsters dying, getting suffocated. I was just about to say, as I was making my way over, it's not a bad idea when you're in a big pocket of gravel like this to put down a uh, solid block once in a while because you just never know when the floor is going to explode out from under you. And obviously, we don't want to go down there. It's not even, if I knew for sure that we would land in the lava, no big deal. I've got a fire potion. Why sweat, right? The problem is, is that there's a lot of peaks and hills and things that... Uh, if you land on those and die from fall damage, you're going to be unhappy. Why did that happen? There's, oh right, there's sand on top. Nuts. I am so scared, guys, I'm not going to lie. Like, I am tense right now because I know I can hear skeletons all around me. And, uh, and they're just making me, like, I'm tense right now. Little spooky, not going to lie. So, and there's a kitty in here, in here with me. Uh, I'm in my uh, garage apartment again, uh, which is not, it's not, my house has two houses. One of them is a, ah, uh, uh, poop. Hold on. Uh, I don't, how do I want to get, I'm going to have to dig out this whole column of gravel that's on top of this, unless I can somehow make it land on a platform. And then maybe I can break the chest, maybe. Let's see if that's going to work, guys. I don't know. Um, whoa, extreme close-up. Uh, poop. How do we want to do this? Like this, and then like that. So that I don't get killed. Yes, got it. Got the boots. 
Woohoo! Advanced Minecraft techniques. Actually, no. Would that that would be more beginner, wouldn't it? Or would poking the column of gravel? I don't know. It really doesn't matter. Anyway, um, my house that that we live in. Uh, there's the main house, and then somebody converted the garage into an apartment. Uh, I don't know, some years back. It's not a full apartment. It doesn't have uh, running water or anything, but we have it set up as a uh, like a bonus living area, I guess. We don't have basements here, so uh, take what you can get. And I'm out here recording, and I have a kitty out here with me, and she just loves coming out here and playing in a... Whoa! That was dumb. I just updated all that gravel, didn't I? Uh, that was... Uh, new party game. Everybody who was face palming when I put the torch on that piece of gravel, tell me in the comments and I'll have a drink for you on New Year's Eve, which will be tonight when this comes out. But tomorrow when I'm, I'm shutting up now, guys, I'm going to dig out my, my base here. Son of a, give me a minute. All right. So this is what it looks like now. I feel like I should be standing here having heat stroke. Now, just in case, and to try to salvage some sort of dignity out of my uh, gravity block update mishap, if you have a bunch of torches you need to pick up, water. Only, I recommend that you build a, like a, a basin, or dish, or bowl, or whatever, for the water, because otherwise it's going to wash all your torches away. Uh, but this is really handy when you are... As long as the water does what you want it to do. Would you stop that, please, water? Um, but it's really handy when you're harvesting sand, like in the desert. Because it takes a while to pick up torches individually. I'm sure. Like I said, I'm sure everybody knows that. But just in case there's that one person that doesn't, then hey. It wasn't pointless to uh, bury my base in gravel after all, was it? And my kitties are playing. I, I have my two kitties are out here and they're... Uh, <laughs> my voice. When I'm sitting here talking to my computer, they get kind of wound up and excited. I don't know why, but, well, it's because they love me. But, uh, <laughs> sorry. Mm, it's going to be hilarious if you guys can hear this. They're being cute. Anyway, so, oh, I hear a zombie on my platform. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Whew. Sorry if I'm a little bit nervous, guys. I don't have enough blocks to make this bridge safe, although I should uh, do that, and I'm a little bit jumpy because of that, so, yeah, but we're, we went over to that lava fall that I called a waterfall about three times last episode, but, come on, guys, you know what I mean, right? I'm, I'm quirky and charming, and my, my tendency to call things completely the wrong name is endearing, right? Right? That's what my husband says, of course, we've been married Oh, 18 years. Uh, he knows what to say and when to say it. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> we actually, sometime in the next week or so, uh, sometime early January, we will have, it will have been 20 years since we started dating. Um, and we've been married for 18 and a half years. And that's a creeper. And that's a knockback sword. And... Uh, I got married right out of right after I graduated from high school when I was 18. So if anybody cares to do the math, you can pretty easily figure out how old I am. All right, so let's see. First of all, I think I want I don't like that there because that could be a problem. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get to. I looked at the Enderman. Maybe is that what I did? I actually look at the Enderman, or is he just being an Enderman and making noise? being a tool. How do we want to get over there? What is the best way to get over there? Because that is uh, hazardous. Where is the spider? I'm like so nervous and stuff. This this level is interesting, not gonna lie, but it does make me really tense. So um, yeah, just uh, bear with me if I'm a little bit jumpy. Um, I'm trying to learn how to keep the camera or, ouch. Yeah, the camera, I guess, from Ouch, moving around so much, I noticed, you know, something I never paid attention to. I make a lot of little movements with my player looking around, and you don't notice it, um, or I didn't notice it anyway until I was looking back over my recorded footage in my earliest episodes, and it was like, oh, wow, I, you know, I move a lot. 
so I'm making a conscious effort not to do that. Um, so, but this, this might cause me to revert back to bad habits, I'm afraid. Because this is spooky ooky ooky. Wasn't that a disco song, kid? No, boogie oogie oogie. I don't know, disco is before my time. Thank goodness. I was, while I was digging up my base, I was listening to music. Unfortunately, I can't have it, of course. I had to turn it off in order to record. Um, ouch. Because uh, it's copyrighted, so, of course. It's, um, I was listening to Breaking Benjamin, but I, my favorite music is heavy metal, hard rock. Uh, disturbed, Breaking Benjamin. Ouch. Creeper, go boom, shine down, those guys. Um, okay, I just heard a bunch of creepers fall, which can mean there's also a trap. Because uh, his player sensors are very often in here creeper spawners. So you might hear creeper fall right before a trap goes off. Just something to keep in mind. I mean, I know that's... Uh, gee, I'm hearing a creeper fall and I'm in a super hostile map. It's not a great way to tell something's going on, but... And that Enderman... Okay, stop shooting me. Okay, where's... Is that that one? No, it's not. I didn't think so. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, slight heart attack. All right. Enderman, you really, really are scaring me a lot. Okay, I just want you to know. All right, guys, I'm sorry I'm not making quicker progress in here, but this area... Um, you definitely want to be mindful, I say, after I have caused a... Uh, uh, Gravel cavalcade. Cavalcade? Cascade, but I wanted something fancy. I need a thesaurus. I have one. I think my daughter has one. Maybe I'll borrow my daughter's thesaurus. So I can have fun with words. When I get more comfortable, I'll start making up my own words. But for the time being, I'll try to behave. Not so much, actually. I was watching some of my older videos and... Uh... I noticed, you know, like, snifty and stuff. So it's of a thing I say. I just heard something. What did I hear? Really tense. Really tense. Really super duper paranoia. Hello. Lava. How are you today? We are just going to do that right now. Look, guys. Score! And there's actually more iron here than it looks like there is because it's, um, it goes back a little bit. So, yes. Now, we still can. I mean, this isn't, like, all the iron we need forever and ever. But it's a really nice start. So, super excited. And this is... See, this is why I put that water there. I know me. So, um... I just heard a hiss. Why did I hear this? Yikes! I jumped in real life. Wow, okay, that scared... I was just about to say, I don't think that lo the iron back there <laughs> is booby-trapped, and I actually jumped, like, my hand. I don't know if you saw my mouse twitch, it's because my hand, I jumped when I, when the, <laughs> when the, 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 um, the boom and the bang and the, oh no, happened. Ahem, <clears throat> I'm okay, I'm alright, whew, I'm healthy and youngish. Well, actually, it depends on who you ask. If you ask a 50-year-old, I'm young. If you ask a 16-year-old, I'm old. So, it's all relative. Alright, we are going to do this. And we're going to make that lava be not not so scary. Because scary lava is scary. Um, and I will derp, off, derp up and walk off. Let's see. And if we do this just right, we can make a, like a... a an easier way to get to and from here uh, is kind of the idea. Yeah, I did it that time. I tried to do it in the last episode and messed up. I've been practicing. Um, I'm going to try to do this real quick so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me, but uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch me come and get this iron, but I, I just heard a bat die. I do want an easier way to do it, because obviously I'm going to want to come get it, so. I'm just trying to make an easier way to get 
in and out, especially if you're mining something like iron, you know, you find like iron or something, you really want to make it, uh, make a safe path to get in and out because you're going to be coming out of there with iron or diamond or gold or coal in your pockets. You don't want to lose it. So I think that'll work. I think that's good enough as long as I'm not careless. So objective one, find the iron. Uh, we did that. Objective two, shoot the creeper. Shoot the creeper. Oh, that's right. I was, I was confused. I was thinking I had punch on this bow, but huh, that's on the map that I'm playing with my husband. So, yeah. Um, I put punch on my bow. All right. So, well, there's that, and we are. We've got time still. Sorry, I just bumped the microphone. I, I don't know if this is going to pick it up or not. So why don't we work on making this area a little safer? It, well, six blocks safer. I'm out of blocks. Crud. All right, let's go back and I will mine some blocks. Oh! Well, that was fortuitous. <laughs> I forgot that was there. I forgot that explosion was there. Specifically. Um... So yes, awesome, I turned around to get blocks. I dug this center out because I needed the blocks and I'm gonna dig some more and lag. I am so sorry guys, you do not know how bad I feel. Let me check here. Um, video, oh, well graphics are back on fancy again. Let's put them on fast, let's put that on normal. Done, difficulty normal. Done. And back. Can anybody tell me in the newer versions of Minecraft it talks about use VBOs? What is that? I can't find a satisfactory answer. That in the MIP map and the um, anisotropic filtering. I know that sometimes in like version 1.7, I think it's 1.7 or 1.8, um, like I'll set my render distance up and then when I go back to the map I'll get this really weird flickering and flashing like all the levels of all the chunks are all trying to render or something but if i use if i turn on the vbo's or something then it stops doing it but i have no idea what it is or why it's doing it so um if anybody can tell me what that means that would be nice because i can't find i looked for it maybe i just looked too soon after it became an option but I think I am going to have to allocate more RAM. That's the only thing I can think of. I have a pretty powerful laptop. It's a, uh, it's not a super powerful rig. It's, it's a casual laptop. But I've never had any problems with it. It's not even two years old. So, um, but I have more RAM than, I mean, I'm using the default amount of RAM. And I really think I'm going to have to put more RAM in the, in my Minecraft. So, but I looked into doing it once and it sounded complicated. So I didn't do it. Now I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. Anyway. Alright. So. Here. Let's go this way some more. And some more. And a boing. And a boing. And a bing. And a boing. And a. Ooh, That's scary. Now we want to stay on the center of this path. It's a long bridge. I do not have the blocks. Unfortunately. To put up um, guardrails. So we're just going to stay in the center. And hope. That nothing shoots us off. Because there is mayhem all around. It's just uh, uh, not coming up to me, thankfully. Because, yeah. A little paranoid right now, guys. Not gonna lie. Little nervous. Little noibus. But, 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 we'll be fine. Right? You guys are with me? Yeah? Um, yeah, of course you are. Because I have, seriously, some awesome people. Uh, one of my, one of my uh, subscribers said she'll, she'll, when inspiration strikes, she'll make me some fan art. Uh, oh, of not getting shot off the bridge. Oh, poop. no, what set me on fire, guys? Ah, ah, help me, help me. Ah, go away, go away, no. Oh, 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 oh. What set me on fire? What the heck, did a skelly spawn with an enchanted bow? Go away. Go away. Oh my goodness! My, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm like, duh. <laughs> I just 
just watched my kitty jump straight up in the air and then pounce on a piece of paper. <laughs> it was hilarious anyway. So cute. So much cute. Um, anyway, yes, my subscriber, she said when inspiration strikes, she, she'll draw some fan art of the moment I jumped off the bridge uh, with gas shooting at me. That would be awesome. That would make me feel so good. And I told her I'll use it. If she does, I'll use it in my, uh, like my banner or something, you know? I'll use it somewhere on my channel because I need I need something for that. I mean, I have a very pretty picture of a rose on my YouTube banner right now, but uh, well, eh, you know, something video gamey might be nice, but I can't draw. I can draw stick figures. So here's another iron deposit and interesting story. I noticed the iron at the top of the lava fall from over here when I played this with, well, from over there. Whoa, hi, where that light cue is. When I played this, what? That's how he set me on fire. Okay. Now I get it. He was shooting through the lava at me. Now, how do we want to do this? Guys, I, I don't really know. I think we're going to do this because I want to be able to stand here and think for a second. Hang it. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Um, okay, and we are going to quickly put down some blocks because... I have a horrible feeling. Ow. You could stop, please. Here, die. Thank you. Whoa. Poop. Um. Ow. <gasps> no, don't blow up, please. Where are you? Nope. Alright, sorry if I'm quiet for a second. I was concentrating. Uh, <sighs> I didn't mean to throw my regen potion there, but it worked. Okay, um, lesson number one. When you're playing a super hostile map, never panic. And that's why. Okay. So, let's immediately foolishly poke our head back out. Did I come that far from my bridge? Oh my. Alright, we are going to want to put some solid blocks down because, uh, yeah, walking around on a pile of gravel seems like a bad idea for so many reasons. Uh, I hear a zombie. I'm trying to proceed carefully. I don't want to make any mistakes, but I'm just not sure the best way to get back to my path. To get back to my bridge. Okay. Alright, so we are going to... Hmm... Uh, hmm, how do I want to get back? What's the safest way? I'm terrified to bridge out over this lava with all this dark around me. But I'm going to have to do something because... Make sure my shift is pushed. But I've got to do something because the longer I stand here, the more monsters are going to come and I will get shot off. So let's just go. Woohoo! We made it! Oh my goodness, that was tense and intense and frightening and scary and <laughs> I want my mommy. I'm almost out of blocks again. Alright, so we are going to reach out and touch that. <sighs> Nuts. Just. Oh, hey. Okay, not nuts. Cool beans. Found some more. Beans aren't nuts. I know. I'm not. That was a non sequitur, wasn't it? I just didn't want people to uh, think I was saying that beans and nuts were the same thing. Anyway. I don't know. I've had the tar scared out of me about four times this episode, and I'm having some problems. And I'm going to try to record a couple of episodes this time around because, well, we have friends coming over tomorrow, and I'm not going to want to. I'm not going to have time to record. Now we want to be, I just saw you spawn. That means there's a creeper spawner. And that creeper is bulletproof. Oh, my bow. Oh, no, my bow broke. Well, that's dinky. And crummy. I didn't want my bow to break. Would you? 
Whee! It's the Creeper Express elevator. Going down? Hmm. Oh, I heard that. Don't blow up all the iron! Whoa, there's TNT flying. Mortar bombs! Mortar, mortar bombs? What is that? I don't know. Well, it blew up most of the iron. Which is why, when I was talking about getting iron, this is where I came first, because I... Well, I mean, this isn't... The, this isn't the place I've talked about mostly getting iron. It's here, and there is iron here. And the explosion is a little bit delayed. You can actually get most of the iron before it explodes. But it does explode, so... And I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be delayed or whether it's a fluke. Alright, so we want to make it to that light lighting queue over there. That looks important. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way all the way around here. And we can either tunnel or bridge across. Either way, I'm not going to try walking across the islands in the center of the in the center of the area. I am not that graceful in this game. Heck, I wouldn't be that graceful in real life either. All right, so I think we are about out of time for this episode, crew, but let me get out of the area while I chat. Thank you so much for joining me, your comments, your likes, um, your shares, all of that. It, I am having so much fun, and I feel like I've made new friends. Maybe that's foolish or naive somehow, but, but I do. I feel like I'm making new friends as I do this, and uh, that makes me feel good because I love making new friends, and I'm good at it. Anyway, so thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next episode. In the meantime, have a very happy and safe New Year's Eve if you celebrate it. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.